All right, fellas, what's going on? I'll make this video nice and short for you fellas. So uh, basically what I'm gonna be going over today is uh, this apex problem that I've been having for a long time and I finally found the fix for it. There's, uh, there's two kinds of uh, issues that usually happen with the community. One of them is more common than the other one, which is the uh, sadly, uh, I had the other issue, which was a lot harder to find a fix for, because I guess not that many people had it, but basically, with uh, the settings not saving. So, usually what people have is video settings not saving, you know, stuff like keybinds and all that. So, uh, they'll, uh, they'll go to the config files and they're in their game and their users and uh they'll just fix it i'll show you how to do that either way but my issue was the gameplay settings i had about three to four in the gameplay settings that uh would switch back to default every time i restarted my game and i had a couple of audio settings which would also reset at startup and i had a uh a prompt to where every time I started my game it would play that beginning cinematic over and over and over again. It gets really tedious to uh, keep resetting those so I was determined to find a fix. So we're gonna go ahead and switch here and I'll show you how to get it to him. Right, so once you're on your desktop here what you want to do is you want to navigate to your file explorer, go to your C drive, users, here, just uh, just for reference, C drive, users, go to your name, and then you want to go down to saved games, respawn, apex, profile, and then here is the beautiful file that we are looking for. This is for the issue that some small percentage of the people might be having, right? So what you want to open up is the profile tab here. And this will contain all of the game and audio settings that you have here. So what you want to do is similar to the other issue that people want to have with their video settings. You want to go to the, you can just close it out. If you want, if you know how to uh, fix up the settings here, if you uh, kind of reference it with uh, your game, you can try to figure it out. But easier way to do it is uh, you right click, go to properties, and change it from read only and to not read only. Then you want to hit apply, okay. And then um, basically you, uh, if you already have your game opened, you know, just change your settings to whatever you want them to be. Close your game, restart, test it out. It should work. Uh, if this all works out for you guys, absolutely let me know. If it doesn't, let me know anyways. Um, I'm going to be linking the thread in the description where I did manage to find the fix and I will also be pasting the response which helped me find this specific fix and uh, you know just uh, hopefully this fixes everything up for you guys and uh, you have a good one.